I put my paper I was going to use? Shh. Are you ready? Hmm. What? Not really. Lost my image. Oh, here, here it is. I have it. Okay. You ready now? Yeah. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. It is our first show in December. Wow, it's, the year has gone by slow and quick. <laughs> yeah, but not fast enough, huh? So, but here we are in December, and of course we're going to do some sort of snowy painting because it's December. And I did ask you guys, and most of you wrote back and said something wintry, something a holiday-like, and so that's what we're doing. Yes and yes. And we're also going to have a fabulous uh, giveaway today. There will be a um, painting from uh, acrylic painting that I will be doing that some uh, one of our uh, studio audience is watching us for the first time on the live show. I mean, watching it live as opposed to seeing it recorded next week. Or, 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 there will be also Salvador uh, paint set uh, someone will get also. And then we've got some fabulous Christmas announcements. Wait till you hear those. So see you in a sec. Okay, it's a sec. It's a sec, that's it, right? <laughs> well, we used to have this big segue. Yeah, we okay. did, but you know, people are tired of that stuff. So, all right, so here we go. We've got um, we've got our, some brushes here. We've got our Salvador paints. Um, we've got a, a blue canvas. And this is uh, from Paramount. Jerry's is probably out of these, Jerry's Hardorama, but you get 10 sheets and we, whenever we have any leftover paint, we John just takes the leftover paint from any of our videos and just uh, covers these. We have stacks of these in different colors. I thought blue would be a good underpainting for that. This is probably in your Salvador kit. This is primary cyan, I would say. You could use thalo blue and white, maybe. It would be a good underpainting for this. If you were wondering what that would be. That would be thalo blue green shade, for those of you who are going to ask that question. Um, <laughs> Well, I mean, people have the questions because well, the art it's, stores go around and they confuse people. You know, what We're it, using professional titanium white from Golden. And uh, um, you probably wonder, and again, this is a 6 by 8 um, sheet of canvas. You can see how, look how nice that gold paint was. I was playing with the words 2020 because... Well, I've, except for that 20, 2002. I got a little, I did a little <laughs> dyslexic here, but maybe it was just, we just needed to get ahead here. But anyway, that's, um, uh, those are done with Posca pens, and I'll tell you why I was doing those in a minute. Uh, I want to welcome our moderators who were able to come tonight. Who's here, John? Who's here, Don? Oh, uh, we have Luann, Steffi, and uh, Lynn is back at the uh, helm, as it were. Okay, so, you know, that's, that's all awesome. I've seen go flying by so far, but it's, and there's Judy. Judy's in there. Hi, hi, Judy. So we thank you very much for that. Um, this is a very simple painting, but we're going to, this is where you get to custom, you're going to customize it a little bit today, all right? I found this little photo of a kid. It could be anybody's kid because we don't see much of her face. Or his, or his face. face. Be, or his face. face. And they're starting to make a snowman. Well, if you just painted it like the photo... People would just wonder, we well, got a zombie snowman, whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna you know add some stuff so you can actually tell it's a snowman. But I thought it was a very nice, fun painting. And some of you still haven't done your holiday cards yet. Might be fun. I don't know. Thought this could be fun. So the because I think that that's what we're doing. How's that? So um, I've got my uh, paints out. Oh wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Well, you could do that, but we we have to do, remember to do a drawing last week. Oh yeah, we have. Oh, uh, last week we forgot so we to. We have to do the whole drawing. We have to do a drawing, uh, from from. You remember last? I tell you every week, uh, if, when possible, we try to have the original painting that I do, and it goes to a happy home. Well, those of you who were here last week, when and and died, when the microphone died, we weren't able to day. do the drawing. So here is the drawing of the California coast. That's and we're going to do. That's a painting. That's my painting, but this is the one we're going to be drawing for. Yeah, we're going to do that gonna, right now. Half hour into the show. What? Half hour into the show? Thirty minutes into the show, you feel okay, like? Okay, 20, twenty to thirty. We'll draw for that, and then we'll draw for this one. And okay. And the Salvador kit, we'll go with that one and, too. So there's two Salvadors and two paintings. That painting's from last week. Yeah, and this we'll painting's from last, last week. week's entries. And we'll and so la moderators and, don't put out the link for the new one until we've done the drawing for the. 
Last we're week. doing last week's, and then you can enter for That's the new one. Time. We can't start. How's that? All right. So we Sounds want to good. make it fair as possible. So we'll put that away. Yes and yes. So needless to say, we have new microphones. Let us know what you think. Yeah. How, how about that? So the, we have the new microphones. We even did a little they test on them. They work fantastic for studio recording, I'll have you know, though. So the colors that we have out over here, it's in the Salvador sets. Um, here's, what, here's, the, here's what a brand new one looks like with the 24 colors and the uh, sponge and the, there's 12 brushes that go with this and so forth and this is this is one of the sets we'll be giving away and remember if you don't win a set that amazon's got them on sale right now in our if you go to our store um and uh, use our coupon code uh, which we have listed below in the description um i think we saw them today these normally sell for 25 dollars, but i think we saw them today if you use the code for how much john I think they're fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Fourteen ninety five. Fifteen bucks. Yeah. So I mean these are great these are great gifts. These are great last minute gifts. Maybe you got a budding artist in your family that would like to try painting. It's a fun thing, yeah. We're getting thumbs up on the um, on the sound? On the sound. Okay, so now to back to the paints, I didn't put all the paints out, but I put most of them out. Some burnt uh, burnt, burnt sienna, uh, the blues, all the blues, some violet or would be purple couple of reds, a few greens, and a yellows and yellow oxide. So that's that's what I put out. And I know that, for instance, I want to um, start about, about up, back up here like this. And if I were to just measure this, it's like about four fingers this way, right? I'm going to end it here and about two up here. Kind of a, a sloping. And I want to paint the background a little bit because you'll notice that that's where all the trees are, yeah? And there's some stuff back here. So I thought that might be fun to do. We'd paint that background first. Now, can I make a, a comment? Oh, oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Now that I have a microphone. You see the child's head? You see that tree coming right out of the t top of that head? Dead center? Probably wouldn't want that, would we? You do not want that. So um, Move it. Move that tree. Well, of course you knew I was going to move it, right, John? I know, but I'm bringing it up for the fans. Yeah, well, don't... Because people are going to paint what they see. Don't paint well, what you see. Well, there's a lot of examples of people just whatever's in the photograph is like they're, <laughs> like they think that, you know, they're historians and people will want to know. You know, this isn't a painting time capsule. Oh, this is, a, you know, you got to... Uh, We've got to be a little bit more judicious than that. How's Ooh, that? Ooh, big word. We're talking big words today, guys. Yeah, so let's start with a little gray color. So I'll take some white and a little bit of ultramarine blue, which is right here. A little tiny bit, like not too much. That's kind of a nice. There you go. Now, if I want to gray Ooh. that, see that? I want to gray that color a bit. I can add a tiny bit of this vermilion color. Just about 2%. And that will gray this blue. See that? And if I add a little bit more, people always think you have to add black to gray stuff. But this is, uh, vermilion is like red and yellow. It's like an orange color. So you're going to gray that a little bit. Kind of has that kind of that purple tone. And I kind of like that. I think that's pretty. And we're going to keep it in those tones. Here's my sky. And you see how, how gray that looks? Kind of a blue-gray sky. A purpley-gray. Kind of a purpley-gray, yeah. And if I wanted it a little bit bluer, I could take maybe a tiny bit of cyan and add gray. to that. It's a winter gray. But if I wanted to warm it up some, I would take a little bit of this um, cyan color and mix in there with it, which is like a thalo. And um, I might just keep painting it. Now, my brush doesn't have any water on it. People always say, how do you keep your paints from curling? Have you ever heard... heard Heard people ask me that they, they will they'll ask that and how you do that is you 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 keep your brush damp but not wet not okay dripping wet. you don't want it wet it's not watercolor yeah so um uh there we go so we're going to just kind of paint this kind of gray sky in here like that and I just we're going to keep this simple but this doesn't have to be hard you guys this can be very fun very simple um we're just going to say it's sort of a wintry, cold, blustery day. And, how it, and because we're painting it over this light blue color, some of that light blue color kind of shows through, and it gives it a very nice effect. You see that? It, just, it really does. Some of that blue color shows through. And so it isn't just ever just one color, okay? 
And then I want to have, I want to suggest that there's maybe some mountains or something behind here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little of that permanent violet and ultramarine blue and mix that together. Okay, take a little tiny bit of vermilion with it, just a touch. Okay, and then I want to come back over here like this, and I'm going to just not go all the way across, but I'm going to say that there's this sort of dark purpley color right here like that, coming up here, there, like this. And let's let's do, um, just use the, the brush on its edge. Like we that. don't have any coupon code for Holbein paints. You just have to buy them on sale when you can find them on sale. They're yeah, Holbein like doesn't. Do, Holbein doesn't even know we talk about them. You guys, no. they couldn't care less. They're they're made in Japan, and you know they know they've got good stuff. They um, don't care if anybody else knows it. Apparently, I, you know, I do the price comparison for our um, quintessential color mixing guide. Holbein and Golden are very close in price. A lot of times, Holbein is cheaper on certain colors than Golden is on other colors. So it's yep. They average it out pretty much the same. Okay, so I'm going to tap a little of this blue over this. I've adjusted my mic, so let me know if I'm sounding big. The first time we did it, I was overpowered. My mic's like a foot away from me, whereas Ginger's is like three feet away from her. Yeah, so it takes a little while. There's, there's this, you know, you know, just to help us fine tune this, because I know at times I can be very boisterous. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and paint this in there like that, right? All right, you you're with me on there? There's our dark one. Now this is the fun part. We're gonna take this toothbrush, take a put a little, that you dip that in water, okay, and um, and then tap it off on a rag. And I I prefer the liquid paint. You can add a little water to your titanium white, but I prefer the liquid um, flow paint, fluid paint for this. This one, the the from Golden, the fluid their fluid acrylics. In white, shake it up pretty well. Put it back here, and what we want to do here. You're gonna make it snow. Well, what I, what I want to push this background back. You see, so I'm gonna hold the the brush up just like this, and, let and I'm it gonna snow, just let it just snow, suggest let it this snow. snowy background. So now you see how we push that um, those hills back there. They're there. No, I don't. I, I should not be as loud as Ginger. Ginger is the show. Okay, so there. I'm going to take a moment now and dry that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I do a commercial? Yeah, John's going to do a commercial while I dry this. You want the one minute one? This is a quick yeah, dry? Yeah, this is a quick dry. Do the one minute one. Absolutely. Okay, one second, let me get queued up here. Queued yeah. up. All right, ready? Oh, I've got to wait. I've got to get to my microphones. Okay, here we go. So you look at a painting like this with all the bright colors. This is an acrylic painting of some beautiful boats and all reds and greens and blues and turquoises. And you go, I'd love to paint that, but I wouldn't know where to begin. Not only that, but I wouldn't know how to mix the colors. Therefore, I want to show you the newest uh, offering John and I have created together. It's Ginger Cook's Quintessential Color Mixing Journal. And we show you how to take 10 basic acrylic paints so to take the confusion of buying paints, plus two bonus colors and white, and we show you how to mix really pretty much any color you could think of making and how to do it. And not only that, but we show you how to make the journal that you can refer to again and again, how to get all these greens, how to, how to use the grayscale, how, um, how to make skin tones. And we leave blank spaces in there so that if you add different, if you buy more paints, you can keep the journal going. This is the never-ending journal of color mixing, but it is the quintessential book because you'll never wonder about how to make colors again, and I think you're going to love it. Okay, we're back. All right, was that one, what commercial was that, John? That was on the quintessential color mixing guide, the very quick, the quickie one we have. Okay, all right. So I want to take a little bit of the burnt umber and a little bit of the ultramarine blue. That'll make my darkest color. And I want to say that I've got here, I want to just put this tree back, coming back up here, and I'm going to lean it a little bit more toward the center um, using my little angle brush here. Let's just bring it all the way up to the top here like that. And then maybe we'll put another one. Let's see, I think I need a 
think what I'm looking for here is a, our um, dagger. I need a dagger brush here. Let's do it. Dagger brush has to be damp. And uh, here we go. I want to. I want to have the small little leaves, little um, little branches. I, you don't want branches to ever taken your eye out of the picture. Uh, it's amazing how fast your, the human mind will follow a line, and we're so trained. Um, we're so trained that in hospitals, you know, they can just do colored lines and you follow them, you know. We are, you just follow lines, that's what we do. And so if you have a bunch of um, um, lines taking your eye off the picture, even if it's in the photo, photographer is pretty stuck with whatever's there. Okay, he, he, he can't help what's there, but you can. Let's put a little bit more water with that. A little more fluid. Got to roll that off the brush. Just using the tip here. All right, so there's some branches back here, a little bit of trees, yeah. And uh, then I think we can do another one here too. This was a very nice wintry scene. I think we can add some here. Notice that I have to reload this brush every time I do a branch. I can do a little one and then I've got to go back into the paint. If you're having trouble making these little dagger brushes work, that's one thing. The other one brush you can use is a liner brush for this. And though they're very nice too. Cinnamon introduced me to these dagger brushes. I think sometimes when you see brushes, if you haven't seen someone else use them, you know, you're thinking, yeah, okay, maybe, but I don't know. Why would I want that? Tell me again why I want that. Let's see. Let's make this tree a little bit bigger. Okay, so we got that one. And then back over here, we're going to have a little pine tree. We can, we'll can we put a few little brushes of uh, just, just suggest a few little somethings. Make them a little shorter because we're... We're just going to suggest something there. Now, if I want to make a little pine tree, she's right here. Okay, so I think I could probably on this side, just to act, this is called a stop. Uh, she acts as a stop also, but this little tree back here will act as a stop for the eye, so it just doesn't leave, doesn't follow this line and just keep going, okay? And then if I take a little bit of this um, green, this dark green, this soap green with that, and add a little brown to it, Okay, I can put, um, remember my snowman is going to be right here, this, she's right here, I think I can put, pretty safely put this one here, and we're going to use this dagger brush to create this pine tree. You can do sound effects too, yeah. And I, and I like that pine tree. Maybe I'll suggest another one. There was only one in the picture, but that doesn't mean anything. We, we certainly could put a little pine tree in here, maybe in front of some of these. I mean, it's winter. And uh, there we go. We got a little pine tree right there. So far, so good. And I think I'm going to take, now that I've done this, I want to take this tree and bring it down a little bit. Uh, maybe just bring it down. There's still a lot of snow here, but I'll bring it in to the, we'll change that, bring that forward. That's always good, yeah? And um, we could probably do very nicely with a little green pine tree, even though our head's going to be here. I think we could say there was a pine tree right here. The pine tree, I think, the, wouldn't look like it was coming out of her head. I think that's how we'll do that one. We'll make this bigger like that. Suggest that there's this little pine tree right there. Maybe bring it up. Okay. So now we got to dry that. Yes and yes. So you, how about showing them Rachel Fish's oh, picture? Oh, 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 wait, wait. I can do that. I can do that. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Now let me. What? I want to talk yeah, to you. Cue it up. John's queued up. For, I'm queuing it up. You you talk about it. Rachel is one of our artists, and she lives in. Um, 
She lives in Israel, and we have two artists that are in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. Rachel's been with me for a few months, almost a year, and um, she's uh, really advanced. I mean, she started off, you know, just a total beginner, and she's gotten so good. And what's interesting is is that um, she, we had this candle painting. Of Did you a, have a, that painting? Um, no, but maybe John, I don't know. John may look for it real quick. We have this painting of this candle from one of the, from one of our artists. A lot of times we talk about the old dead artists. These are artists that have um, you know maybe from the eighteen hundreds, mid all along there. The way the people have lived before, and we'll do a lot of their paintings in our academy. And I've done a bunch on on YouTube as well. And here, for instance, is our our painting of the um, of the candle. Here, let me. What is that there? So, uh, can you see that, John? Let me back out a little bit. John's going to This is the actual painting that I did in the tutorial. All right, so you guys can see it yeah. of this uh, this candle and uh, the books and so forth. I think this is a nice holiday painting all by itself. Look what Rachel did because she added some words in Hebrew, and apparently in in uh, her country um, there's a saying that um, while the candle still burns, there's still hope. And that's what she added in Hebrew. And look at what she what she did. It's really amazing. All right. And I'm going to dry while you're doing that. Go ahead. All right, I got her muted. We'll see how this works out now with me still talking and her on her microphone muted. So let us know how that works out. We're still working on that. We have a couple of other um, images. This was Rachel's here. I want to share with you... Oh, the very first picture that we showed you when we were starting up the show, for those that came in late, this is the first known photograph of a snowman, and that was done in 18, what was it, 1858, I think, 53? You would think my notes would sync over with this computer. Yeah, Here there. you can put me back on if you're Oh, wait, about. yep, let me... Uh, John, John showed you that snowman. Yeah, I'm sure got and, that and, up and showing there that, that we were just doing the history of snowmen. He's going to give you some interesting facts as we paint on here today because I think that's really – don't you think that's neat? All right, so um, – That was Mary Dillwyn in 1853. She was so um, – First from, person taking a picture of a snowman that we have – It was a lady. I love that. It was a lady. And, and also she was from um, Wales, I think. Yes. From Wales, and so there you go, you guys, and the then you know across so the little, pond. Little history for you, history buffs. And uh, yeah, so kind of neat. So now I'm debating. You see, I've got my. I haven't put the snow on the trees yet. I can do that later. But you see, I've got the. Um, I think this would be a good time. Well, this might be a good time. You see, a photo like this doesn't have any light source. It's such a flat light. We have to make some up. So part of me wants to just paint some of this snow in here. And then put her on, but I think not. I think we'll just do the. We'll, really? We're going to just trace on, and then we'll go from there. I, I debated. Let's see. You gave me a yellow one. Here it is. Here's yellow. Here's the, this is this uh, Sorrel transfer paper. Um, we're just going to trace on. We wanted to make it. If you want, um, let's see. That looks like a newer one. Well, they both look about the same. What am I <laughs> grabbing? Okay, Goldilocks here, and. Um, uh, anyway, in our Beginner Acrylic Academy, for our basic supporters and up, it's just four ninety five a month, and you don't have to do continuously. Just do it once in a while, you know, if you want to. Just sign up for a month and tell John you want to be canceled in January, and then you'll have all the the uh, traceables for the for twenty twenty, you know. But uh, take advantage of that, you guys, because that's where the traceables are. And when we say traceable, we don't give you an outline. Some I know that my daughter loves to give everybody a perfect outline. You know, you just trace around the photograph. That's or the painting. That's just all you have to do. You want. Really, just says not everybody wants all the information. Sometimes you just want to have a little bit of information. Yes. I tape that down, and then I'll tape this here. Okay. Now I wouldn't think I would need a traceable for a snowman, but I I did want to get her uh, head in there. Let's make sure it's working. Uh, Near you, is it working? Hmm? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it at all. 
You have it the right way, too. I'm not seeing that. I mean, that's a dark blue, and it's not showing up at all. No. Well, that's... Um, that's, that's disappointing at best. That's disappointing at best. What else you got for me, John? Because that won't work. Oh, you always have to test that first. We can try white. I'm just, um, you'd think white would be... I've got a little piece of white right here, John. I can just... I, I don't know. I had a piece of white. What did I do with it? Here. Let me just try the white. It, we've used... You couldn't use this over and over again. So, yeah, the white's working. wonder why the yellow didn't. Remember that? You know, you Remember that song? You'll wonder where the yellow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsodent. I don't think that they meant by that, but we don't know where the yellow went with this. But where the yellow went? No idea. No Let's idea. See, is that is that doing it, you guys? Yeah, that's doing it. All right, so I'm pushing pretty hard here. Going back and, and forth. And I'm going back and forth over it. Yeah. I knew she was going to say that. Yeah, you got to go. You know, you'll see me doing. You know, the other thing you can do, you can just put chalk on the back of one your traceable and just smear a couple of layers of, ch uh, like, a colored chalk. See, just a little tiny bit of... Uh, uh, drawing here. It doesn't take much. And... Uh, there's the little hand, which we'll, we'll do later. Andrew's in the house. Hi, Andrew. Andrew, you're a little late there, buddy. I did a Just saying. I did a pack for Andrew today, personal art coaching. He's got this what, course. What's all that about? What do you mean, did a personal did art coaching? Personal, when you're an Academy member, an Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, and senior member, you can send me a photo of your artwork, and then um, you can get suggestions from me in the form of a video. All right, so... Uh, did that kind of show up? Kind of. Oh. What am I missing? Oh, I know what I didn't put here. Here, That showed up, though, right? Yeah? All right. It did. Okay. That's about as good as I'm going to get with that. A good placement on the trees. Yeah, nice, huh? Almost like so, you've done this before. So, uh, let's take a little brush here. Or something little. Put a little, mm, little brush. What did I do with all the little ones? Here. I want to just do her head at kind of a dark, the permanent violet is the dark spot on her um, scarf. It's going to be red, but this is the darker, um, it's like a little weave. But, you know, this is where you get fun when you just, you know, you decorate your people any way you want, right? You see Art joined us today, too. Hello, Art. Hi, Haven't Art from Arizona. Art lives in Arizona. Not much snow there. About as and, much as we get. And, um... I think we get a little more. So... Oh, does Arizona get snow? Do they have mountains and get snow in the mountains? Well, they have... Well, they have Flagstaff, sure. Yeah. They must get a little more. They get more snow than we do, then. Here's a little cyan and white. Uh, priorly, rather, priorly red and white. We'll just do a little bit on her face right now where I can still see it. You don't see much of the face, just a little tiny bit right like that. Cool. We're going to get ready to do our drawing for Monday's show of last week here momentarily. Yeah, we, we want to be sure to do that, right? Before we forget it again. And then I want to do a little bit of a, a green on the only we parka can. here. I'll just uh, I just want to get her in kind of or him in or well I think it's it's her because of the light green color of the parka otherwise it might be a him you never oh, really? know right so guys don't like light light green parkas that's interesting well I don't think I don't think so huh they might but I don't think so huh? I could be wrong but I, 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 in my experience not so much all right so I'm just kind of that's that little, that's that yellow green color, and I just put it on there because I can, and it's here. And then we've got the, 
the rest of that's going to be red. So, great. Alrighty. We've got that. So now, we, let's do... Let's do some... Let's one. just get a little bit of snow going here. Uh, a little bit of the permanent blue. What's that? What's that? Kind of light blue color. And let's... Um, Let's put a little snow. I think we need more white with that. And we're just going to tap on. Remember, snow's falling from the top, so the, the, it's when it lands on these branches that you, you always have to see. Here's the rule. You have to see some green underneath. Okay? So if you're saying that there's some snow falling... You always have to see some of that dark green where it just because remember it's landing on top plop plop and then there's that darker green under there like that and the same thing here if we're saying it landed on the on the branches or you know wherever it might have piled up here on you but um, I'm gonna uh, just start adding a little of our snow. I don't think I need the dagger brush for this, but it, I had it. So, and I, I can get into the corners with it. So this is just white and a little of that light turquoise blue. And, uh... Oh, look at that. Arizona has the southernmost ski area in the U.S. It's Mount Lemmon near Tuscan. Tucson? Yeah, that's it. Tuscan? Tucson? <laughs> Over there somewhere. Tucson, huh? Snowball is in Flagstaff. Oh. I don't, I don't think I've ever been to Arizona. Well, it's funny. I, you know, I went to school in Arizona. Went to high school. I went to my senior year of high school in Arizona. Well, I started out as, as a junior. Okay. I started out as a junior in high school uh, there, and um, by the time I was finished with the year, I was then a senior and graduated. So that was a fun story in itself. You've got some fun, and I'll tell you that maybe if we have time. Why don't we, um, let me just get this done, and I can uh, dry a little bit before I get too carried away. I want to just have a few little... I want some shadows back here in our snow here, like that. Because the shadow knows. Well, you know what I mean. I just I want some because of the I, the snowman's going to be white, and I want him to show up, right? Okay. So. That's a good idea. So I figured we'd do a few little shadows. Okay, John, I'm going to dry that. Why don't you tell him the story about um, Michelangelo? Oh, wait, wait, wait. i got to find my notes then. You don't remember it? Well, he was the first dude. He had a gorgeous snowman that nobody has a picture of. Well, nobody has a picture of a snowman, John. <laughs> the fact that Michelangelo made a snowman, is, I think, is amazing. Don't you guys think so? Michelangelo, well, you know, why, the guy that did... Why would that be amazing? David, David and stuff, because... Michelangelo that, apparently made the world's best one when it, was snowed, when it snowed one year where he lived. Where did he live? You can you you give me very very. Um, he lived in Italy. It doesn't snow in Italy. Well, apparently not where he was. Must be southern Italy then. And and it snowed, and the guy that owned the um, I'm gonna, the guy that um that that the uh, the Medi 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 uh, Medici or the Medici family, uh, he worked for them. Um, it was all out in the garden, all the snow, and he said. I want the most. I want a snowman, and he went out there. Apparently, he made the most beautiful snowman in the, that in the, anybody's ever seen. And we never got to see it, but we'll have to take their word for it. I'm going to dry this. All right, go ahead. I've, I've got some other things I'm sharing with the fans. We came across this one. Who killed Frosty and ruined a child's day? Have you ever seen such thing? It's so sad. So sad indeed. Now. Um, for parents out there, um, we, we don't recommend that you do this, but once again, 
We're going snowman crazy and apparently putting a child on top of a snowman and taking the picture is not frowned upon. Whereas nowadays that would be probably classified as child abuse. But there you go. What we did in the younger days and got away with. What are you talking about? That was the uh, kid standing on top of the snowman. Oh, yeah. And then I showed them the Who Killed Frosty. Oh, I love that. Don't you love Who Killed Frosty? We did some research <laughs> I think that's for you. Sad. Let's do a drawing real quick on the on okay, last let's, week. Okay, let's do that. Let's do we're last gonna, we're week's drawing. We're drawing for last week's painting, which we forgot. We're so, we got our microphone quit, and we weren't able to do it. So everybody we, we just, that entered we just, last week, we, we, only for last week's viewers. The last week's viewers, which I have there, and that, is and this is the org. Yeah. And that's the California painting that's going to go to... Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Kim Renlet in Macomb, Michigan. In Michigan, it's going to Michigan. California sunshine. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign it for you right now, so we don't forget. <laughs> and, oh, he's uh, good. Yeah, right. We are so on the ball. All right. And then somebody won a Salvador paint set then too. Yep, that's coming up next. I'm going to put down winner, winner of last week's YouTube. Congratulations, going to Michigan. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard the have the you know we're because we have a global audience that we saw a thing on the news that said that if you don't have your Christmas stuff ma ma mailed by the 14th, that the post office is overwhelmed and UPS is overwhelmed. Everybody's overwhelmed. And they won't be able to help you out, so sorry. And going to the other end of the spreadsheet, boy, that random.org does a good job. Can I be painting while you're doing that? Absolutely. Don't don't let me don't let me interrupt you, my queen. All right, I'm mm. gonna be painting while you do that because I feel like we we must get on with the show, right? Must get on with the show. And winner of for last week, Salvador. Winner of last. Salvador paint kit is Carrie Calm. And where's Carrie Hale from? Uh, Sebastian, Florida. Oh, down there with my sister. Oh, your sister lives there. In that area. Maybe she knows her. You never know. Right, we're, I'm putting a little hat on. That's why I didn't want to do the tree too soon because I've got to put, we got to have a hat on Santa. You could put our, our, our snowman. You, you could put, you could put, um, I don't want a nose. And um, I mean, you could put some stuff, right? And I want a scarf. So, you know, we gotta have it a little bit fancier than, than that. So had to had to do a little of that, you guys. So um okay, so I'm happy with John, this. will the big sir be a tutorial? What's the big sir? Uh no, we we do have a tutorial that was that big sir, that was the painting. We do oh. have a tutorial as a tutorial in our wave and water class. Yeah, that's already there. That's already there. Wave and water master class is already there. One like that. Dana says that the child was probably standing on a ladder. I think not. That takes away from all the joy. I would put my kid up there. Uh, Anything for a picture. Come on. Okay, so we're going to say that this is our uh, snowman here. Ooh. And, uh, John, does Ginger ever remember the very first painting that she sold? No, I remember the first one Cinnamon sold because she really pissed me off when she sold it because <laughs> she didn't offer me the opportunity to buy it, right? Ah, oh, kids. She, you know, she, she entered this contest, okay, and um, uh, she entered this, this, this contest for the state, state fair there in uh, Cal Southern California, San Diego, and... Um, and she won like first prize on it, and this was that was the whole thing. I was I was really annoyed with her because what she did was she waited till the last minute, like like the night before the contest, 
you know, I had to take it down, I'd drive it down to the fair for her, and she wanted me to frame it and take it down there, and she waited until the very last day, and I thought that was just, I went ahead and did it, but I thought that was very responsible, and then, but she's a kid, right? And then, yeah, you're with me, right? And then she, um, um, Then she, um, uh, then she won, and she had the chance, and she was in high school, she had the chance to have that painting uh, displayed at the governor's uh, mansion uh, up in the state capital of California and tour, tour, uh, the, the, um, tour the state. And some people came along, and they wanted to buy it, and she sold it to them right. and didn't ask me if I wanted to buy it. Because, I mean, if it was just a matter of she wanted to buy it, I would have... Um, you could have outbid them. Well, I would have bid on it anyway. I mean, I would have, you know, and then, and then it still could have gone on tour. I would have been okay with that, right? That was the first one that she... Now, not the first one she ever got published. But that was the first one. And then, oh, yeah, she had another one that she did that was really cool. Maybe it was before that even. Like, she was like 11, 10 or 11. And that her teacher bought it. And, and again, nobody asked me if I wanted to buy it. Um, <laughs> you know how moms are, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, that's fine, but I, I just wanted, di you know what it was, is I wanted dibs. Does that, does that make sense? I wanted dibs. I wanted dibs. I'm going to whine here, you guys. I wanted dibs. See, the original question, though, was what do you remember your first one? But I don't remember my first one. Hmm. Um, I don't remember my first one, but, um. I remember hers. Isn't that funny? There's going to be a drawing today once we reach 300 thumbs up, people. 300 thumbs up, and you'll get the link for the drawing. Yeah, okay. So here's our... Um, Show me it's looking good. So I think it needs a red scarf. I think it definitely needs a red scarf here. Yes and yes, and then let's see what else. Um, goes nicely with the green. Um, yeah, so it's not. Yeah, it goes nice with the green, and um, and then it needs a red. It's got to have the red hat, like so, over the white. That's dry enough where it can have the red hat. See how much brighter red is over white than if you just put it over another color? The same red color I used down on the scarf, but look at the difference because I made it white first. Okay, so there's we're going to start with that, right? When did Ginger start selling her art? Oh, I don't know that either. When did I start <laughs> selling my art? A long time ago. Long in time a galaxy ago. far, far away. Boy, that takes you back, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, there we go. You've got to have a little pom-pom in your little red hat, too. Okay, you're still, still with me, right? Because that's a blue hat with a red pom-pom. Well, no, it's not, it just looks like that, but it's not there. It's not, <laughs> actually not true at all, right? Okay. It's just that we needed the red... The blue to go over this is our. We're starting with our, our hat here like this, and then there was this. Two hundred and ninety-nine thumbs up. Uh, come on, people. There's four hundred and seventy-two of you out there. Okay. Oh, we started to tell you what we're going to be doing the Christmas announcement. I'm I'm excited to announce you guys that. Um, that we, we, John and I decided that on Christmas afternoon, Christmas Day, at 3.30 Central Time, we'll be doing a live show. So we know a lot of people are um, home for the holidays, and they're just, um, um, they're not um, going out, you know what I mean? They're not going out to family this year, and they're not, family's not coming. So we thought that would be a nice thing. Let's try this here. If 
two little dots on this. Alright, so there's our hat. And um, then we want a little bit of zinc what you know when you need to lighten something and you don't want it to go pink on you or to, you know too chalky if you use if you use zinc white to lighten something it will lighten it up but not as um, as much so I got all that's trans a tra it's more of a translucent color and uh, wipe the brush off and just go straight with that but this is still wet so I don't think I'll even mix it I'll just what you call mixing on the on the uh, canvas when you do that so do a little bit of the mixing on the canvas and um, okay so there's the hat kind of like the hat Ooh, that's a lot of paint Just tapping that with an angle. Okay. It's all right. We're getting there. It just has to build this up for a little bit. I don't know why she has a bunch of snow under her arm here. This is so weird. Is it really snow? Should I look well, at it can't it? be. It can't be. What well, it's. Could yeah. It be, could it? Be, it looks like clothes of some type, like a, a a a scarf of some type. You think it's a scarf? Well, I have to bring it up. I just don't. Here. I just don't know what that is. It's very hard for me when I'm painting something. I don't know what it is. I get really stuck. That nothing sticks faster than not having any idea what it is. All right. So let's um. Uh. What? It's a fur collar. It's a fur collar. Yep. Okay. You, you can either leave that out and put the rest of that green in. I, th I think I might just put the jacket back and a little bit of it. I, I don't think it, that's weird how it goes all the way no, up there. Like it's, it's too big for the kid. The kid, the kid will eventually grow into it. But well, that's what it is. It's fur. It's a fur collar? Is that yep. what it is? It's this a fuzzy, is the good it's a fuzzy, as of now. It's a fur muffler, okay. Cynthia says. Not really a turtleneck because it does stick out. Okay. It's a fluffy, it's a fluffy scarf. Is that right? Yeah. Looks good. Next Christmas show will be at three thirty p.m. Central Time. Okay. So there's our. Um, that helps our, our international family be able to join us as well. Well, yeah, we just we know this is just an extraordinary year. For, for you know, normally we would be over at my daughter's house, you know. But unfortunately, um, you know, life has uh, you know gotten in the way of that. Yes. A curveball, as it were. Okay, so I mean, so we just had to have a little more snowman that went than that we were getting there, right? Than, than than we had before. So I just felt like we just we we needed that, and then we'll work on her a little bit and see what we can come come up with. Uh, let's see. I think we had some. The, the next the, marathon auction will be in the spring. We'll have a whole schedule after the first of the year. But we may have, I'll tell you what, I'm hoping for next year we're going to have a permanent art gallery. And there will just be certain paintings that we're going to be offering uh, for, sale. for sale. And uh, Just another website for us to work on. Yeah, for sure, right? Yeah, we are trying to construct one website for combining three websites. Exactly so. You know, there'll be an all new domain name and everybody will be mad at me for about a week and then you'll get over it. Because you're going to see how wonderful it is after you get there. So. That will be coming. 
hopefully we'll get first phase done for the first of the year. Hopefully, by even by Christmas, we're going to get the first phase done. So we'll see. Okay, so there's this coming up a little further here. Kind of I'm liking the the I like the the stripes on the on the on the jacket are sort of fun, aren't they? Yeah. And uh should we go all the way over here? Okay, let's pull some different colored blue stripes down it. Notice that they, that the curve, the, notice the direction of the stripes. And if you look at the reference, you'll notice that they they change depending on um, whether it's the shoulder or the collar or the. Um, uh, Um, the jacket or the sleeve or whatever, right? So you want to be kind of aware of that. Let's make this collar a little bit brighter. And let's do this a little bit brighter here. And um, I got her face up a little high, so I'm going to move that down here. As soon as I painted painted out what I've got here, I've got to move her face. I got it up too high. Okay, so her face is down this way. Chalk could have shown up just a little better for me, but that's. Um, it sounds like I'm complaining, and I, I don't want to complain, but it absolutely could have shown up a little better because I have the the earmuffs coming out this way on the hat. Kind of almost straight out, and then they, and then they go down like that, and this is back like this. Okay. Okay, it says I love the auction painting with the binoculars and compass. Forgot the name. Lost treasures. Lost treasures. Then that's a Four. really nice. Um, that was one of my favorites. Yeah, that, that's we almost didn't put that up for auction. We almost kept it. We had a fight over that one. You know, because that's a really, um, it is sort of a different uh, painting. Okay, so we've got, um, uh, this is sort of fun. I'm kind of having fun with this. It's a little bit of a different kind of, an, it's a different idea because you don't have that much information in the photo. Well, you have to use your little bit of your skills with this one. Yeah. There, so we kind of we made it more more unisex by doing that, right? And um, I think we could put some hair here coming out, and that would work too, because the sleeve actually, well, the sleeve is going to go would go all the way up under here, to, to where where the arms coming from, like this would be where the sleeve would come, like that, and it would just kind of bounce up, like so. Yeah, th th there you go. So um, again, you could put like a little ponytail back here, or if you wanted to, or or something if you wanted to suggest, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more specific gender. And let's uh, bring this uh, collar out a little wider than we had it. And then the there we go. And then we'll bring this down like that. Okay, so far so good, yeah. And uh, that hat looks fuzzy. It's kind of a fuzzy looking hat, isn't it? It's a fuzzy looking hat. Um, could be a little brighter than I've got it, and I'm just it's had a chance to dry here, so maybe it could be a little bit brighter. And then I want to bring it, it goes almost purple behind her head, or his head there, like that. It's like it's in shadow back here. Okay.
So there we go. That's that that there's a kid for sure, right? And uh, then we're gonna do a little tiny hand. Let's do a little hand. Something small, a little tiny brush. Well, we gotta put the eyes and stuff on the on the little snow guy. The little snow guy. Our little snow guy. He should have Hey speaking of guys, we have a new staff member in charge of food. Yeah, we wanna thank yeah, we, th Jenny. this is the time of year when lots of fun <laughs> Little gifts. Uh, Most of you might know him as Curious George. This is in, Cur right? Curious Carl, though. And um, newest staff member. Yeah, and it started coming in. We thank you very much for you know appreciate it very much. And also, we someone very and we're sorry we didn't mention these sooner. Uh, hand crochet. Let me just move this for a minute. Hand crochet these beautiful pot holders. Gorgeous. So thank you very much for those too. And we're sorry, we, we totally forgot the name, and we apologize. I had I had a note with her for the longest time, but then I have no excuse. You don't have an excuse, nope. John. Just, it's just you have no excuse. Just the way it is. But we do appreciate each and every one of you. So yeah, thank you very Curious much. Curious Carl that. is my guy. Okay, so that's here's George's our, brother. Here's our little snowman. Now, so here's the. This will be the fun part. The little hands coming up here to put the. A little bit of yellow in this priorly red. Here, let's do some sort of little. There we go. That's a good skin tone. And here's the little hands coming up here like this. Let's put a little burnt sienna with that so it shows up a little more. What is that that you're doing there? He's getting, putting his little hand in where he's. Oh, okay. He's putting in his um. It's uh. You don't really see much of the hand. It's just that there's a finger that's sort of poking in. The, there's a little hole right here where he's poking in where the mouth goes. And then the this is coming. It's another little. I think we 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 put too much um. Um, jacket. I had to pull my pull my jacket back here. Bring the hand up like this. Let's see. Let's put some snow back. And uh, make a little spot where the. Probably should dry this, but I want to get ready for the next thing because I want you to show Tara's picture. Okay. Are you talking about the Venice? Mm-hmm. Get ready. Every once in a while, you know, people always ask us, what, is, what does personal art coaching do for you? Why would you want it? And what personal art coaching does, let me just dry this when you show that, because I have to keep, I have to, to, to add the rest of the highlights, I have to keep going, okay? Okie dokie. All right, while the queen is busy drying... Let me see if I got the right image up there. I do. All right, this is a this is before personal art coaching. And there's Tammy did this painting and she sent it in to the Queen. And the Queen of Color made some suggestions. You gotta look very closely because what it has to deal with is a, is a perspective issue that she was having. So look very closely at the gentleman in the boat and the people on the bridge, and then look at the after. And don't you feel that it makes a little bit more sense? Well, sometimes you're painting stuff and you just don't see it. Am I back? You are back voice-wise. Okay, so sometimes you're just, you just don't see it. And and who, who was the artist on this one? This was Tara. Tara. And she said we could use her art, and, and you know, and show people on it. The final painting. This is a big painting. It's twenty by twenty-four. It's huge, and she did just an amazing job with this, and um, just ever so impressed with it. Um, you know, I think the just really so impressed with it, and. Um, 
and I think she should be so, the final piece is so gorgeous. But sometimes it doesn't hurt to have another set of eyes look at your artwork. Say, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. Writers do it all the time. That's why they have editors. They have proofreaders. Let's put a little bit of that hand out there like that, and we'll just put a little bit of face showing right here. Just a little bit of face right there. You don't have to see much. Just um, there you go, you guys. So let's. Now we'll be having a drawing for this painting in a Salvador kit, just like we did before for last week's. We'll do it for this week's. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I'll just do something kind of light here, just to suggest it. And um, uh, here's our hat. I'm going to just do another coat of red on the hat. Because sometimes that makes a difference. Um, let's see. Let's get this up. This can, let's just get this up much fluffier than it is. Okay. And then I think we need... Just need something a little cuter on him. And... Uh, Okay, something like that. It doesn't have to be... You could do a black hat, too. You know, a traditional black hat, for sure. And, um... Let's get well, yeah, this. I mean, you can personalize it. You can, make you it can, your own. You can dress him up, right, for sure. And, 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 and that might be fun, too. Now, one of the things we... I want to do is, um... Um, I'm looking at these trees now that I've got in the background... And uh, the one thing about this tree was it went all up. It needs a little bit more uh, snow because it's kind of in the front. We'll just bring this tree up a little higher. Okay, just bring it over this way. That will make this one that that little guy show up more. And let's 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 just pull a little bit more of this tree here. Kind of put them more in balance here. Going to kind of balance out this picture just a little bit. Put some more white branches. And uh, then I want to change the, you know, direction of snow can make a difference. Um, Let's see. Let's pull a little bit of red this way here, like that, on this hat. Make that a little lighter back there, okay? That's better. And, uh... I yes, Cheryl, the kid is sticking the finger in the mouth to put the uh, mouth in. Why would you think? Just wondering if that's what that was. Well, it's what it is. It's what it is. Gotta have a mouth. Gotta be able to talk. There's the carrot nose. And uh, I like this red to be a little brighter. I knew it. And so I've got to see. Because the snowman was a lot of competition there, wasn't it? Well, it's not that. I just want the hat to be brighter. Do you know what I mean? So are you gonna, it, what, it, it, what flavor it, are you going to put on it, my queen? Well, I think I'm going to go through my paints and see what I could find that maybe a cad red light might be the thing to do mm -hmm. to make that brighter in a couple places. But if you had your mixing journal handy, you could look at that and see what yeah, colors are available. Yeah, that's right. Cad you red. That. Oh, I do. Well, my fingers, are, my fingers are too dirty to get that out. All that's right, true. So here's, some, here's some cad red light. Let's just try that. It's going to be pretty orange. Don't want that. So, let's try 
Let's just go up. Um, I don't know. Maybe magenta, you guys. I think in magenta. Or um, luminous rose might be fun, too. Well, then you'd definitely be making it a girl. Well, you know, you could do it whatever. <laughs> cad red. Here's cad red. Let's see what I can get with that. Small brush. Some cad red. I don't want to put it out on the canvas. I'll just get some cad red and see, see what I can do with that. If it would make a difference, we'll just let's just try it. Kind of does, doesn't it? Kind of brightens it. Just needed this red to be a little bit brighter. It can be darker toward the back, but I needed a darker, brighter red up here. To me, that makes it more sense to have the hat. See, I like I like that better. The acrylics dry darker too. That's the other thing that's sort of interesting is that they. They dry darker. I wonder why that is. So, you see, we put this cad red is really a wonderful color. Right out of the tube. Right out of the tube. See how it's how it brightened that hat up a little bit? And then you can put a few dots back here, but it doesn't have to be that bright. See? Kind of make that the, sh the shadow side of the coat. And uh, then put a little of this dark color back here. And, uh, and then I think that kind of works, right? And then you've got the now you've got the you've got this little kid with the snowman. It's sort of cute, yeah. And then you've got uh, uh, let's see. We want to do a little tiny. Where's our little brush? Where's our little brush here? Okay. So then what I want to do is here is to take this white and uh, cyan color, this color here, and I want to come down like this. Well, I'd like to be able to do it. Come down like this. Just give it a little button nose. And just make that a little bit smaller. Come in like that. There we go, like that. And I think we need an arm. We need a stick arm for our guy here. Yeah. He needs a a stick coming now in the picture he's kind of going this way and I think we won't have him going out this way we'll we'll, we'll just make our our stick going that way like that because he should have you know maybe he's got something on this side coming up Let's see, where do we want this to go? He's got a hand coming up that way. You can put your stick anywhere you want, but this is where I'm putting my little stick hand here. It's coming out this side of him. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty good with that. I tell you what, we need a little bit of a... I'll tell you what we need here, John, is we need something right here. Um, we need another little tree right here in the background. This is too big of a space right here. And we'll put some white on it. That will make this uh, hat show up. It could be further back. See, they don't have to be so bright. It could be further away. See, give it give it a little depth here. All right, so got a little bit of depth on that one. A little bit of depth up here. But the red and green are compliments, so it never hurts to to put those in the picture. All right, so we have all the snow going down this way. You guys see that, right? So it looks like it's a hill, and they're at the bottom of it, doesn't it? Yep. So that's what that looks like, because brush direction is everything. We've talked about that, yeah? So if you want to change that, so let's just see what color. This was the color of that. So if we want to change that, we would do, let's do a little bit of the zinc white. We could change. Yeah, we could change it just, just, you can change stuff by just not, 
just change a few brush directions. So see, see how we just now we don't have like this wall. See, still want that blue back there, but okay. So we got that. That's pretty good here. And let's see. Uh, let's do that like that, so we can have it coming up like that too. So now we've added a little bit more uh, depth to the picture just by doing just little tiny stuff like that. I think that's kind of cute, right? And let's see what else could we do. Uh, if we brought this tree down a little bit more, I don't think we need to. I think he's good there, but make sure when you're doing this, make sure when you're doing this that you've got your trees going all the way off the canvas like that. Make sure that's going all the way up. Uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be back here, but it would there. Okay? Now, final, final toothbrush. Let's see, let's put a little more of that paint out because we're out of it. Okay. It's a snowy day. It's a snowy day, but this is a determined child. Right? You're going to going to paint our snowman anyway. Yes and yes. And I think that's kind of, I think that came, came out kind of cute. So I would say that we're about 99%. Now here's what we started with, just so you know. We started with just sort of that, okay? So we had some idea of what we wanted to do. If you wanted to put like a, one of the black top hats on him, you could, you could, um, um, Maybe we could make a little more shadow on his mouth there. Since I find the brush for that. Right here where her finger is. Just his finger is. There you go. And um, you know, you don't you can have some little highlights on the stick if let's see. Little highlights on the stick. Okay, you guys. I think that's. I think that's very holiday-ish. Do you think so, John? I think so. I think you've captured the mood. I'm chilly looking at it. I wonder if you should have ear flaps coming down here like that too. What do you think? No. Nope. We're gonna leave him alone. John says no. leave him alone. You don't put ear flaps on a snowman. How could, how's he gonna hear? Well, you just really know nothing about snowmen, do you? I do. I've made a. I've made some snowmen. Okay. Luminous Opera, I can't find that anywhere. Wherever Holbein sells paint. Okay. Wherever I, Holbein sells paint. Well, we didn't use it, but um, we Dick didn't Blick use it. Dick would be the place to get we, it. We didn't use any because we didn't want to really put pink in here like that. But we do have, um, I think this could be some, some, it could be a boy, it could be a girl. I think it's cute. Just anybody's little kid, the little kid that's determined to be out there with the, with the snow. I don't really see how many people are looking for this snowman. 257. Really? A lot of people want this little guy. Well, you know, because it could, you know, just, we're, 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 we're not gender specific with this one. No, we're not. We're just we saying it could be. We are not gender specific. On this. So, I yeah. mean, again, here's a, again, we'll have in the, um, in the academy, we'll have the traceable for this. Uh, if you want it, here, here's what it looks like, shiny. So, so that's what we started with, and this is what we've got. So I, th I think that's cute, right? I wonder if it could have been fatter here. I think he should be fatter right there. Who's fatter? The snowman right oh. there. 
you know, just trying to make them. So they've been doing snowmen for since the 1400s. They think they, they've been doing snowmen forever. And J John showed you the Japanese did the most. No, I didn't do the Japanese. Did you show them where the Japanese did, had the rec world's record of how many snowmen you could, there's over 2,000 you could build in one hour. Um, this is a tradition that goes all over the world. And um, I hope you guys uh, had fun with this. I mean, I had fun doing it with you guys. And I think, hope you have fun doing it. It was a, something a little more challenging, maybe. But on the other hand, I think it. Um, I think we were effective. Yes. We were very effective. We showed you how to not go exactly like the photograph. And we've got coming up now. Look for those of you who like. Uh, you know, some of you said, "Look, at, I live in a climate that's warm, and we don't have a lot of snow for Christmas." This is a YouTube video. We did a couple years ago, and it's got a snowman out of sand. It's a sand man. And, 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 you know, and it's, a, it's, a, it's the ocean one, right? Yeah, I like that one. So that's fun. Yeah, so we have that. That's on YouTube. Uh, look under playlists under holiday videos. And um, Nancy Lewis is the winner of our little painting today. Nancy Lewis? Where's Nancy Lewis from? She's from North Carolina. North Carolina? You have to say it that way, too. Wow, that's great. That's great, Nancy. Congratulations. And then the winner of the Salvador paint kit. This is Salvador paint kit is going to New Jersey. It's going to New Jersey. Well, let me show you that. Right, this is the painting we're doing next week in the academy. Maybe this week. Be the coming this week. We've already done the the dog's been released. Rufus. Rufus has been released. But he's now hanging probably in the kitchen, but uh, this is the new one that's going up. You backed up enough for this. People can I see did. it, right? It's I a Academy of Fine Art acrylic painting. You know, for under $30 a month, for if, you're, if you're, you know, if, so you can get personal art coaching and video, the videos. We start at under 30 You know, prices start there. Can't, you know, do it for a couple months. See how you like it. Don't have to do it forever. Though you'll save a few months if you buy your, your lease annual subscription all right here we go and that's not going to show the up salvador paint kit just we're going to do uh, so if you're a winner i will need your mailing address yeah you guys if you got if you won this you're going to need your mailing address is linda bylan from new jersey it's going to new jersey all right so i hope you guys enjoyed all the information that we had on uh Look, uh, a little bit of history of snowmen. On, on, on snowmen. Um, I'm going to give again, we want to thank everybody that uh, has been, uh, you know, sending us Christmas cards to our P.O. box. We appreciate that very much, and we'll try to show some more if we remember. And um, <laughs> We're just so good. But we love them. Uh, so thank you very much, and uh, happy holidays, and I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this, you know, building the snowman. And... Do we have anything else to say, boss? Bye. That's all we're going to say? Yeah. You always have so much to say. Oh, I remember. I knew it. It's coming back to me now. We're going to do a we're going to do a contest in our Facebook club. Uh-huh. See? It's going to be the paint us an original snowman and uh, we'll we'll post it in the Facebook club. We'll run that through uh uh, uh through the 1st of December 30th, okay? Uh, f uh snowman contest. Yeah. You know, just uh, see we what you got. We don't know what you're going to win, but somebody will win something. Someone will win something. And a plus, plus on, be sure you want to join us on, uh, besides next Monday, be sure you want to join us uh, also uh, Christmas Day, 3.30 Central Time. Lots of giveaways that day. You won't believe what's going to be in store. We'll really celebrate Christmas together, okay? Well, I can hardly wait. All right, say goodbye, Ginger. Bye, guys. I, I said say goodbye, Ginger. Oh. You're so confused.